what, what's really interesting about, about what's happening today when we think about it is that we used to look at IT and all the elements of IT in silos. So there was a disaster recovery bucket. There is a business continuity bucket. There is a cybersecurity bucket. There's an infrastructure bucket. Yeah. What I think is really happening, if we're gonna look at resiliency as the key driver. We gotta look at this more holistically. There's no longer these little buckets. So cybersecurity, business continuity, disaster recovery, they're all kind of being blended into one strategy about how do we actually make our businesses more resilient, resilient to be able to weather these attacks Yep. When they do happen, how do we recover as fast as possible? Right. I know that when we we, were, we did some you know discussion yesterday about the, getting ready for this, it's that the amount of time it takes for us to detect and eradicate an, a, an event is like 27 days. And you can be down for some of your mission critical you know data you know um, applications for days. Yep. You know, and that has a huge impact on the on the operation of, of our business and the care that we're delivering to our. Yeah, and and those are averages too, right? And there's yeah. many cases where those are much much longer, yeah. right? And, and I think it's it's the focus of you know you not because we've gotten pretty good at at the the at the defenses. Hmm. Um, when an event happens, right? We hope it's not a catastrophic event, right? That, yes. that the, the the full DR event where ever the building's gone, we have to rebuild from scratch, right? Because the defenses have gotten good, there's a good chance that we can limit the blast area, right? So it's yeah. a smaller section. But if that smaller section happens to be the biggest revenue nut or the, the most important piece of your, uh, your business, right, the impact is, is substantial. So, you know, from a resiliency perspective, I think we, you know, if you think about the, your client flowing through your business, right, as a, as a stream or a river, right, is, is understanding, you know, hey, how does that flow through my business and where are those points where there's these little pots of gold in the stream right that I need to focus on because those little sections of the river are really more important than something upstream or downstream and then kind of zeroing in on that and saying okay what you know maybe it's maybe it's an API maybe it's a third party company that we rely on for for something within our business and really taking a closer look at that and understanding the risk and, and, yeah. and focusing on the resiliency of that specific risk versus, you know, what we would call the table stakes of mm. the whole, the, you know, the business as a whole, right? Because exactly. as a as a sweet seat executive, right, I, I got to keep the business going, right? And I, and I need to understand where the biggest impacts are going to be. And I, I got to start, I need to mitigate those, those specific risks. Yeah. You know, what's interesting too, is what I'm seeing, I'm on a lot of board of directors for, for both profit and nonprofit. And five, six, seven, ten years ago, there was limited conversation around security threats. Unless a company got compromised, there was no conversation at the board yep. level. Yep. Every board I'm on it today of substantial size, um, security is one of the main agenda items at every meeting. So it's, it's starting at the, the highest part of the organizations at the board level and, and permeating down. I think that trend is going to continue more and more.